Hi, welcome to the website articlexiso.com. There is a new menu up here. So that means it's official. Arch Linux Calamars installer has been launched. And we're having a blast. It's so much fun to again have something um, to work with. And it's new, right? <laughs> Always interesting. But what it is, and I'm reading it together with you here, the point is we needed to install Arch Linux to test it out in phase five, arcnuxd.com. There is a phase one, the phase two, three, and four. And it takes a lot of time to go through all the phases. Even if you know what to do, then it's still a lot of typing. And you are a human, we make typos, and then rub won't be installed and stuff like that. You can do it all over again. So now we had this idea, what if, of two days ago, and I've made the video, it takes five hours to build a project like this. All the knowledge is in there. So you can have something similar if you say, oh, that's a good idea. That's an interesting what if. Go and watch the video. It takes five hours to watch it, more or less. And then you know what I've done. I've done also some mistakes, but hey, that just proves I'm human. But the thing is, we want to have a graphical tool that installs Arch Linux on our computer system. Just like click, 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 like we're used to in Arc Linux, Arc Linux D, MB, the Calamars is there and we just click and we encrypt and we do all kinds of things. And that's maybe something I'll do today. That's um, look at some, some possibilities in Calamars and encrypt the um, hard disk. So here it all starts with a little text. This is a simple thing, an example, XFC, GNOME. Then you give you install something else in here in these lines and Mate is there and Plasma is there and 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 so on. You install the desktops 21 we have at these days. So that's the creation. That's if you want to get started, so oh that looks interesting. Then you go to number two, and this is the fun already I had. Uh, installing Xorg, SDDM then, Cinnamon then. This is the spices tool, so there is no key of Arclix. It's an Arch ISO installation. We just provide Calamaras on it. So we need the packages from Arch Linux, we need the, the Arch Linux tweak tool, and then why not, if we have the tweak tool, let's install awesome, and boom, it's all tested in there. So the fourth article will have another round at some, some games. Maybe you've seen already some images on Discord. Anything is possible. So Oracle is ready. Where is it? It's in the Arco ALCI. There is the ISO. This is the one you need to git clone. ALCI ISO. And here in the out folder is going to be your element. So it's not downloadable, it's buildable. And that's the point because you can add more things to it. If you immediately say, I want cinnamon, put it on the ISO, why not? Right? So, um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna reboot, right? Because I want to install. There is already something there, but I'm booting up from the ISO. EFI, BIOS, doesn't matter. Real Metal, VirtualBox, it all works. But of course, to make videos, it's even more interesting to do it in VirtualBox. So we decided to have a very minimal i3 up here. Two modules to wait for. It can happen, guys, Today is a bad day to make videos. <laughs> My provider has issues in our town and he's trying to fix it. So packages, I don't know where they're coming in. And this might be the connection to the KDE server. So Plasma provides a KDE server with GOIP, so geographical IP location. So they know I'm from Belgium basically. And it takes 60 seconds. And then the module says, okay, I've waited long enough. So 20 seconds to go, 15. And then it's gone. That happens, for example, if you have a laptop and it's, it's not branched, it's not no LAN cable and no wireless, then boom, eh? it's, it's still waiting for something. So off we go. It's very not responsive. So if you click next, wait a little bit. Um, it might be virtual box at this point in time. Belgian, next. 
erase disk. So the fun, the fun. Here is the encrypting. Here is the manual partitioning. Uh, you can do anything. It's it's all possible. You can have a look at uh, erklinux.com. There is a Calamars article there, just about all the possibilities there are. Um, let's yeah, probably this happens. If you did an encrypted partition already in the past, and sometimes it just gets loading, and it it eventually it finds it scanning storage devices. That's what he's doing. But because of the fact that I've been testing out the encryptions, it might be possible that the one that's in here already, the blue one here, is already an encrypted one. Now there are always solutions because I don't want to wait or want to get rid of that. Well, the easiest way is basically have a clean virtual box that never happens, right? And then it's just just gray here. And that's so cool as well. But I was going to say, I go then, if that happens, I go to Arclinx D, phase five, archway, because I don't know these things out of my head, I just use them maybe twice a year, <laughs> if, if at all. So it's just knowledge sharing that I'm doing now. You see, my internet is not healthy. It is really not. Too bad. Everything is coming in. Uh, here, here it is. This, these two lines are interesting. So if you go to a terminal, and that's possible, in the ALCI, so if you go to a terminal, super enter, you got yourself a terminal, and you say sudo, and then the device, and you you wipe, 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 some commands, Eric, wipe file system, minus A, device, SDA, correct? I'm looking at the bottom here, SDA. So I'm cleaning up, basically I'm just cleaning up. Uh, and that's it. Or the other one, the other one is SG disk, and then minus Z. I remember Z from zapping, I believe, if you read the manual. And that's another way to, to kill everything, to destroy everything. GPT data structures destroyed. You may partition the disk using F disk, you see? So when I do a control R, I'm rebooting everything. I'm relaunching everything. I just want to show you that the hard disk is now one coming from the shop. There is no formatting on it. There is no data on it. It doesn't know what it is. And it should show as something gray. Oh no, don't tell me we have to wait another 60 seconds. Ah. So now the, re the, the server responded and we got the idea where we live. There you go. He knows I'm from Brussels. So that's, we wait for that. That's the module that takes 60 seconds maximum. So Belgium, next. There you go, everything gray. So that's a good tip and there are videos about it, but it's always good to, to include it. Um, so you know, if you have lots of things, people have complex partitions, it's incredible. I don't, right? <laughs> I just have one thing and I don't run into issues either. So no swap, yes swap, no swap, uh, no hibernate. Let's take a little bit of hibernate, but then let's try encrypting it. I take just my first name. That's cool. Very difficult password. And um, that's it basically. You can go ahead and, and partition this and um, it will be encrypted. And that's the fun. I've changed a little bit. The guys who were there at the first hour Change a little bit this here, so we still can type a short password. And then it's a very fast build, and it's a very fast installation. Why? It's only 900 megabyte. We want to stay as close to the Arch Linux ISO as possible, but we want to provide you a click, 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 click install. Walk away, come back, and then you do these things, right? Then you do the elements that are actually up here you say okay afterwards arch linux iso does not provide an x org server nor 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 and nor four lines doesn't provide anything so afterwards you need to go and type some stuff in 
basically. And then you have something. And if you have one have plasma, you just delete line three here and call it plasma meta, I think it's called. So it's unpacking and then suddenly it just jumps over and then we can have some fun and show you that we have an encrypted. Now talking about fun, what fun shall I install? I've already shown you a cinnamon installer, right? I've already shown you this. We've installed Xorg SDDM eh, because why, why not? <laughs> cinnamon, okay, and then the Arch Linux Spices, sorry, Arch Linux Spices application and the Arch Linux tweaking tool. And we've installed awesome with the tweaking tool. So we got, we're, we're fully free to do whatever we want with our operating system. That's how an operating system should be, really. So, um, yeah, there are others there that are not uh, that, that flexible. Not pointing fingers to anyone. <clears throat> right. So, removing 25 packages, I want to be it as clean as possible afterwards on your machine. And that's the cleaning. The fail tear up there, that's Arch Linux business. I just copy paste, right? Just do the exact same thing as Arch Linux provides us. I type in my super difficult password. And then it's going to decrypt everything. And then grub shows up. Yay, then we can boot. So like I said, if you are already a little bit like Arclinx D guy in a black screen, that's inevitable. It's an Arch ISO installer. It's an, 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 an Arch Linux ISO that we've just added Calamaris to it. So yeah, we end in something black. This is their text, right? It's their text. Never changed anything. Pseudo Pacman X org and then server would be better x or apps we can do it in in uh, parts we can type everything in one line so now we have something graphical to look at and now we'll probably notice my internet super speed yep there we go The servers, I wouldn't know, right? I do not set anything. The servers are the Arch Linux installation. It's it's nothing done there on that department. That's the point of all the project. Staying as close to Arch Linux ISO as possible. So if that's that, now I can decide. Do I choose an SDM? Then it's this. Do I want, again, a light EDM and a light just type it right, GTK greeter, then it's this. Okay, choose. There is no preference for me. As a, as a general rule, LightDM is for everything and, and SD, uh, sorry, um, yeah, SDDM is for Plasma or KDE, as a general rule. But hey, just did SDDM with Cinnamon, so. Right, and then we enable this thing to the system system CTL enable and then light M. That's that. I could reboot, but we don't have a yeah, a desktop. We need to choose something. Pseudo Pacman minus S. Since my internet is not that great today, I'm not gonna install plasma meta but i'm gonna install mate and i believe there is also something called mate extras how if you don't know anymore well google is one thing but there is the cheat sheet right it's on there as well and it was without an s and so it all matters Ooh. it all matters and we'll have mate when we boot up 
encrypted. Let's pause the video here a little bit for my super speedy internet. All right, I think it's finished. So the reboot, and off we go again. He wants to know my password. And that's the greeter, and this is Matei. Voila, we have a system ready to use. I think with Mate Extra we got some things in like Mate Terminal. <laughs> so we can show you guys sudo, come on, sudo, back in the minus s, uh, not Mate, but NeoFetch. I wanted to get that. And then we type new fetch. And this is an Arch Linux system. Right. I was looking for the packages. Ah, here it is 581 packages. But of course, I don't have any browser. There is no sound. There is no Bluetooth. There is nothing really. Printing, sharing, Samba, all that. It's um, a work in progress, but it's fun building it up from an Arch Linux perspective with the Calamars installer and have some fun. So the other project, the other uh, article I made is getting the, arc, the the spices in, the tool, the spices. So if you don't know what's that all about, you go to arclinux.info, you go to .info, Eric, one up, in the downloads, is explained what the Spices app is. And that's for people not on Arch Linux. And we are now not on Arch Linux. We are now on Arch Linux. So we need to get the package in to get our packages from Arch Linux on Arch Linux. And that's what this is all about. You run some, some buttons here, click some buttons. Basically, there are scripts behind it. And you can build it, you can install it graphically or you can git clone and run the scripts manually. It all that matters where you are. Are you in a graphical environment or are you in TTY? Then you better uh, git clone it. All right, so if that's done, you can get every bit of article Linux on ALCI. Yes, you can get that as well on Arch Linux ISO, so why not on ALCI, it's the same. And then maybe why not install the tweak tool, and that's basically what I did up here, or here, All right? So that would be just uh, repetitive, um, but I think it's a good thing that we had this zap thing information, this information about cleaning up your hard disk. I was talking about this thing that it's there, that people know there is a solution somewhere on our website to get rid of everything that's on a hard disk, really erase everything. All right, cheers guys, have fun with ALCI, cheers.